So I'm at a place called Jollibee. Never really heard of it. Never eaten there. Um, I guess it's a little bit newer to the Maryland area. Um, mostly I think, I think it's a Filipino-ish themed or flavored uh, kind of a fast food restaurant. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's new. Anyway, super cool lady. Uh, by the name Rain or Rainy, I don't want to butcher that, I'm so sorry if I did, Johnson, uh, out of Texas, sponsored this video. She gave it to me a couple months ago, but unfortunately because of traveling and getting the kids out of the house and going to school and stuff like that, I've been just overwhelmed. But I'm getting to it now, and I apologize for the wait, but I am excited for this one. So, she wanted me to do a menu challenge, and like I said, I've never been here before, so I actually kind of looked in there, I was like, oof. All right, I didn't really know what to get. So I did an A, B, and a C. It costs about $102, but uh, it's a spaghetti and chicken family meal. I've got with the pies, the burger steak one in the, in the pie, and I don't know, Palobo, Paloba, I, I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. I'm trying here, I've never heard of it. So if I butchered that, I am also apologizing. Anyway. This is about 50 minutes from my house and I just got the food. Pretty weighty, but like I said, I am gonna get home. I'm gonna set this up and see what we got. Thank you again, Rain, Rainy. You gotta actually send me a message to tell me how to set it because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm a woman versus food. Let's get back to the house. See my cat sniff and uh, eat some chicken and spaghetti and burgers and uh, some shrimpy stuff. I, I'm not quite sure what these cups and stuff, it, it, looks, it looks like they, I mean, it has to be gravy, but I, I don't really know what to use it for because it's fried chicken, so maybe you're supposed to dip it in fried chicken, I'm honestly lost, I don't, the gravy, I'm getting mashed potatoes, so, um, what I have here is, I've got the three things of chicken, I've got a, actually it's a very decent sized thing of spaghetti, I do have hamburger steaks. Um, seems to be mushrooms, gravy, uh, hamburger steaks on there. Um, looks kind of like a Salisbury steak, honestly. And then I, you know, I'm not even trying to pronounce it because I'm just not going to. The shrimp thing with the eggs and the, I don't even know what this is, but. Smells good. <laughs> like I said, I've never been there before. Just trying to feel it out. Um, I'm probably gonna start with a couple of these, then head down to the chicken and stuff like that, eat these. But there's a lot. I've got nine pies. I've got three things of gravy. I've got three buckets of chicken. I've got three, basically three whole family meal packs. I could have done, there was one more option to do D, but it was basically just more chicken with a couple of sides, like french fries and rice and stuff like that. So this is $102 worth of Jollibee. Thank you again, Rain Johnson. I do appreciate it. This is awesome. I'm excited. Like I said, because I've never had it before. I'm like I said, slightly confused by the gravy. I, gravy, I guess. I do like gravy, so we'll just go with that at this point. So, um, you know, we're just gonna kind of casually enjoy this. Like I said, I've got a lot of food here, and we're gonna just kind of eat until we're done. So if that works for you. We're gonna go. Three, two, one. Let's see what happens. I like think everybody, I mean, I've never seen fast food spaghetti. So, and I should have gotten a bigger fork, actually. Are those hot dogs? <laughs> I don't even hot dogs in there or something. The spaghetti is definitely good. I don't know why I have such trouble eating this. It has some good flavor. Definitely doesn't taste like my spaghetti. Several pounds total. I want to say probably about 
Probably about 12 pounds of food. Mm. And there's definitely a decent variety. Fast food spaghetti, who knew? And Sniff is on the floor right now playing with the bag. So, of course. Oh. Definitely like a hamburger steak. They're very soft, actually. So I am still confused about the gravy for the, I'm assuming it's for the chicken. I, I don't know, whatever. I'll pop up the bowl. I, I've never eaten fried chicken with gravy. So my favorite part about chicken, no matter what, is gonna be the skin. I've done a phase actually just eating the chicken for the skin. Look. Now, the chicken is definitely bigger size, I would say, than even KFC or Popeyes. Um, there's not a lot of spice or anything really or flavor to the crust on this. So I'm assuming that's why they have the gravy, so I'll try that in a bit.
So, this gravy thing. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like gravy. I don't know. I don't want to dip the gravy on it because it's just make it soggy. I'm just not sure of the purpose of the gravy. And I don't want to put my fried chicken in that gravy. It doesn't make any sense to me, so I'll just drink the gravy later. Is suck. Or at least very small globally, so. <laughs> Wicked. to explain to me like said the gravy i just keep staring at it i don't know honestly comment on the video and tell you what, what it's for <laughs> i'm assuming it's for the chicken i don't know No, it's a lot of chicken, actually. The rolls are super big. I have never actually gotten legs that big. I have so that's pretty cool. All right, we've got nine pies. This thing. <laughs> Some gravy. Peach mango. It kind of looked like a little fritter thing. I would actually drive out of my way to get those. Those are actually really good. So, all right, so I've got gravy. I'm just gonna drink the grape. Once again, comment. What is the gravy for? Ooh. I mean, it's good gravy. I just don't know, you know. Like I said. I'm assuming it's for the chicken. Then I've got this thing. I don't even know what this is. It's got like sausage -y. I don't know. That's stuff on it. 
and some eggs and uh, the orange sauce. I eat them. I don't know. This is I'm gonna mix it up because it, the noodles look kind of dry. So I'm assuming you mix it up. But I don't know what the sauce on top is. It's orange and looks kind of grainy. Uh, it seems like there's sausage on it, eggs. Um, yeah, I tell what's in it. It does have a smell to it, so I'm not really. Uh, I'm not digging the smell. But like I said, I haven't tried it yet either, so it's kind of, uh, and this is a decent sized bowl too, so I'd say about two four pounds. All right, let's just eat this. I don't. Know. We weren't really going all fast and all out on this one, but definitely, definitely a lot of food. Um, wow, pretty impressive actually. Um, I will say with this one that with the chicken, I have never had chicken hold so well. It took me about an hour to get to my house, so it did sit for a little while. Um, the chicken was large; it was it stayed crispy. It's actually pretty fabulous. Um, wow, the chicken was great. I probably need, I would say that the gravy was probably for that, obviously, but like I said, there wasn't a lot of flavoring or spice to the actual crust of the chicken. But really, compare, if I were to compare that to Popeyes or even KFC, that will totally win. It's, it's big, it's crispy, it's crunchy, it's juicy, and it lasted an hour for me to get home, and it still was phenomenal, so that's great. Um, chicken's good, spaghetti was good. Not quite sure what this was, but it was interesting. Um, the hamburger steaks, those were phenomenal. Those are very soft and pillowy. Those are great. The pies, those had to win it right there. Um, I would definitely drive out of my way to get those. Phenomenal. These 12 pounds there, that actually were pretty heavy. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to check the weight. I have to go back and look at that. But either which way, phenomenal challenge. Thank you, Rain Johnson. I appreciate it. Out of Texas. Phenomenal idea. I love it. Sorry it took so long and once again to get to this one because like I said I was traveling and out of state and I like I said I basically have two three jobs half time and then I got the four kids so thank you again I do appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see another video sponsored and you like doing yourself, let me know. Find me down in the description below. Send shoot an email or something like that and we'll figure it out. Mom versus food, Skylar Nation versus Jollibee, hundred dollars worth of very oddly placed chicken and weird stuff. We appreciate it. We'll see y'all next time.